Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion YJ here and today we're doing something completely different. I've pretty much primarily been a TCG Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, but for the first time in a while, we're actually going to be breaking that. Man, don't get me wrong, I've done some Master Duel content, I've done Cross Duel content, uh, I haven't done di uh, Dungeon Dice uh, content yet, but that is uh, something I definitely want to go ahead and do because that is a really, really fun game. But beside the point, guys, I want to go ahead and touch a brand new game, or at least I believe it's brand new. It came out maybe like a month ago at this point, so it's kind of taken over the New York scene. I'm not in New York, um, but I have insights. You know, my boy Rob works game day prison games. Definitely go ahead and check it out if you have not already. Uh, but he pretty much told me that uh, One Piece has started dominating the the uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh scene. Essentially, One Piece started dominating the New York Yu-Gi-Oh scene over uh, over up there. So I really want to go see what it's about. So I went to my local card shop and I picked up a structure deck for the One Piece card game. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. It is a very large box, much larger than, you know, I'm not talking about size matters, but you know. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I, I saw it was really, really cool. So I wanted to go ahead and pick up a box and see what it was all about. Uh, do I know how to play? Absolutely not. Not at the moment, at least. So I do want to go ahead and start maybe a little series on the channel. If you guys are interested, maybe I could do like a learning how to play One Piece card game, uh, One Piece TCG on the channel. So that way we can go ahead and learn together. I know there's a really, really cool tutorial online that actually shows us how to play it. So uh, I'll leave, go ahead and leave a link in the description as far as that goes. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. Uh, but if you guys are curious how much this costs, I mean, it, it was uh, 20, uh, $21 more or less to, to purchase this that's after taxes um, so it, it gives you a more of a better understanding it's not gonna be like the 10 bucks per structure deck like we're used to with Yu-Gi-Oh uh, so it's a little bit different as far as that is concerned but as far as the actual card game is concerned like I said there is uh, a little bit of a tutorial already out there so I'll definitely go ahead and leave that in the description as I destroy this box uh, my goodness I need to be a little bit more careful and eh, we're gonna toss this anyway but uh, overall I think it's really, really cool okay have I watched One Piece? I have. I am about 150 episodes into the entire series, so I'm like a maybe 10 percent of the way done with it. So <laughs> it's a very, very long series. I understand that. I think the final, uh, the final season just got announced or was released or whatever it might be. So uh, that's pretty much what got me excited for. It. So it, it, there's a lot of catching up for me to catching up to you. I mean that right now they're. Uh, I, I I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm in the part where there's a guy named Crocodile, and that's as much as I'm gonna say without giving any spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let me go. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this over there. Actually, does it have anything? Okay, cool. So in the back, it tells you uh, that we're getting uh, obviously we're getting Luffy, we're getting Usopp, Karu, uh, Sanji. We're getting where's the uh, Zoro? We're getting Zoro. So we're getting pretty much the entire Straw Hat gang. So that's pretty cool. And I'm actually at the point in the anime where I haven't even gotten to see the entire crew. I only have like three or four crew members, so I want them to add more. Uh, so anyway, you got the game essentials here. It's really cool. We get decks is made up of. Okay. So like I said, I saw a tutorial which seems like it's not very difficult. It seems very, uh, very much like Magic: The Gathering, uh, if that makes sense. So you have like mana cards, and then you have to like use the mana to use your cards, and then if you attack the uh, the enemy's dawn or leader card, I think it is, then they get to draw a card from a separate dawn pile. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll leave a link. I'll let the I'll let the professionals explain it. I'm a very much a noob and a rookie with this. So if you guys want to go ahead and understand how the phases work and all this kind of stuff, it's really cool. There we go. Uh, ah, nice. So cool. It already comes with this, which is gonna be our field essentially, right? So essentially, at the beginning of the game, you take like, the first four cards of your deck, you put them here, and they're your life. Uh, so anytime that your leader uh, right here gets attacked, you draw one of your life, so that way you can never essentially, or you shouldn't, uh, lose out because of card advantage, things like that, which is really cool. The cost areas, we're going to keep your, I think, Dawn cards go right here. Uh, and then your trash is, of course, anything that's been defeated. So uh, here we are, we have your turn, we have a Dawn exclamation point, exclamation point card. Uh, we have our One Piece card game cards. I love this little design, I think it's really, really cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and get right in here, guys. I'm gonna throw that away. Let's get in here. So we got our Don Dons. Uh, okay. Your turn, plus 1,000. Okay. One Piece card game. 
All right, all right, cool. So it's gonna be our leader card, I believe. Let's see, yeah. It says right there, it says leader. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Monkey D. Luffy as our leader, which is really, really cool. Actually, really beautiful. Not just artwork, but the, like the... Um, I always really preferred the full art cards, which is something that in Yu-Gi-Oh! is some we are definitely missing. Uh, I know that some artists go in there and they'll, you know, take sanitizer and they'll, you know, uh, rub off the, the frame and actually do the full card art, which I actually love those. So I think this is really, really cool. Uh, so this, uh, give this leader or one of your characters one Rested Dawn card. Uh, so I think that means, I think in like the Magic the Gathering where you have it like ready and then you have to like tap it. I think this means like when rested is like a, like a tapped. Uh, like I said, I'm, <laughs> I'm very, very new with this game. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it looks really, really cool. Uh, definitely for sure. Okay, so the Straw Hat crew, very cool. Uh, we got another Monkey D. Luffy. This is for the actual character card. So we'll put this right here in the leader slot. And this... Uh, I was informed this, that obviously it's a little bit bigger cards than Yu-Gi-Oh! So you make sure you guys are using standard size sleeves, not the Japanese size. Uh, so we got Monkey D. Luffy, another Monkey D. Luffy. There we go, Rorono Zoro. Cool artwork there. Very nice. Another Zoro. We got Usopp. Very cool. Also, I, I, I it, more anime stuff, but um, uh, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory at this point, at least. Um, uh, but I like how they all kind of go on their own and they get stronger and then you know come back or you know something like that. I don't know if it's a spoiler if it is. I'm sorry, but I kind of knew that even before watching the anime, so it is what it is. Uh, so that's really really cool. So we got four Usops. We got Karu. Hell yeah. This is uh, part of the Sonic Ducks, uh, which comes on uh, pretty early on in the anime, so that's awesome. We got Sanji. Uh, it kind of sucks. I, I really wish that all of the uh, Straw Hat gang would have been uh, foil, but you know, it is what it is. It's all good. We still got two Rono Zoros. We got four Zanjis. Very nice. Uh, we got a Jinbei. Have not seen this character in the anime just yet, uh, so that's cool. Okay. And I think the, the numbers up here are like supposed to be um, their cost, if I'm not mistaken. It's definitely in the, in the instructions. I just threw those aside, and, you know, on the other side of this, because that's when it's important. Tony, Tony Chopper, he's so cute, man. I, I love when, uh, when uh, they added him onto the gang. Really, really cool. Uh, really, really cool artwork. I like how this, it, I, feel, I don't feel like it takes itself too, too seriously. I mean, obviously you have your, your more badass ones like Monkey D. Luffy and everything, but then you have Chopper with like some cotton candy. Uh, so it's it's really really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. It's, it doesn't. It, it's not afraid to kind of be kiddish or childish with it. So I like that. We got Nami, of course. We got Robin. All right, she's doing the windmill arm thing. We got uh, Vivi. Okay. Is this like a princess BV from the from the show? Is that is there is there is there, is there a uh, a different BV? I actually have no idea. <laughs> I need I need to watch the show. Uh, we got Frankie. I always thought he was really really cool. Uh, so before I actually started watching the the actual show itself, uh, one of my friends said I should dress up as Frankie for Halloween. I don't see the resemblance. I'm not a very I'm not okay. So I'm I'm over, I'm a little bit overweight, but you know I'm not a I'm not a huge man with you know, eight abs, you know? So I don't, I don't see the resemblance, but so really, really cool card. We got Brooke. Uh, so these are the, it for our character cards. And then we have event cards. So this is something I'm not, I don't remember too much from the tutorial, but still really, really cool. So we got guard points, two of guard points. We got Gum Gum uh, Jet Pistol, which is one of, I guess, uh, Luffy's more, uh, I would say, more signature attacks. I personally am a big fan of the Gatling, uh, Gum Gum Gatling Gun, or whatever he wants to call it. So that I always thought was really, really cool. Uh, Diablo, Diablo Jambi. Okay, so it must be one of like uh, Sanji's signature kicks. And then we got, oh, we got that in Sunny. It's, it's, it's the, uh, the ship. <laughs> Uh, but this is not the the going Mary, so uh, I'm assuming they switch ships at some at some point in the anime. So I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of people like in the in the comments like, oh, you, when you watch the anime, you nerd, and things like that. But it is what it is. Honestly, I really really like the artwork. I think they're all really really cool. 
um, I do want to actually study a little bit more about how the game actually works because right now I feel like I'm just talking about something I don't really know uh, which is well actually that's kind of the most of my videos <laughs> um, but yeah honestly I, I'm really excited to actually sit down and learn this deck for sure um, and learn this game actually for sure I think it's really really cool like I said artwork wise uh, has lore is not hard to learn uh, as far as what oh as far as if you watch the tutorial it should be pretty easy I just haven't played a game yet and I really wish they had like some type of emulator or some type some way to learn how to play it online uh, because I always feel weird going into my little card shop with a game I don't know how to play this was the case with Pokemon and Magic the Gathering when I first started playing those games I just don't know how to play and, it, and someone wants to sit down with me and play and then I'm just like well, I don't know how, so I just start doing whatever, and I always get things wrong. But anyway, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and learn this, guys. But if you guys are interested in the One Piece card game, let me know in the comment section down below. You can also let me know by smashing that like button. And we'll see if I actually add this onto the regular scheduled content, if we do deck profiles or duels. I know Rob was getting into it as well, so we could do like a live duel as far as that's concerned. So I think that'd be really cool if that's something you guys want to see. Let me know in the comment section down below. Again, you can also let me know by smashing the like button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Also, thank you guys, each and every single one of you guys, for subscribing and sticking with me through this period. I know today's the holiday season. Not today, but this whole week is a holiday season. So I have some fun stuff planned for the end of the week. So if you guys want to stick around, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>